What up, y'all? It's T-Turns here. We're looking at more of y'all's theaters for Pokemon in 2024. Let's go. Pokemon Legends Unknown. Unknown are actually angels sent by Arceus. Now, hold on. <laughs> I know you don't necessarily look like an angel, but there's something to this. Hey, T-Tar, I've been following along with a lot of the Johto theories recently, and I know the name Legends Unknown has come up in conversation a number of times, but what if it's another Game Freak pun, and it's actually based on a literal legend that is unknown? So I think what they're trying to say is they're called Unknown as a sort of placeholder name of the real legendary they belong to which is name is unknown. We can have some fun with this idea, right? Now, first off, something weird about unknown is that even though Game Freak and Pokemon, it all started in Japan, they're off the Latin letters. The 26 first unknown, they're the Latin letters, the English alphabet. And think about where they're located. They're located in the ruins of Elf. So in the middle of Japan, you just got all of these foreign letters. And now we're connecting with Arceus. It's really weird that Game Freak decided to go this path. Why would like the big Japanese god Arceus, which might be spoken about in some ancient ruins in Johto before even Sinnoh's time, why would the stuff making up its lore be written <laughs> in Latin letters? And if you don't believe me, if you go to the Pokedex entry that Professor Lavinson write, look what he'd be trying to tell people. It is hard to believe these strangely shaped Pokemon are truly living creatures. I've pointed out that the species has many forms of those writing from other lands. <laughs> no one will take me seriously. <laughs> you gotta change your friends, Lavinson. Look at this though. The species has many forms resembles writing from other lands. So it's not intentionally not Japanese. Why would they do that? They've linked it to the Latin letters. Now I have a reason for why they might have done this, but it's really weird if you think about it. But yeah, back to your post. So we know that Arceus is depicted as the god Pokemon who created all life. But I have a theory that the unknown are actually angels. So before I even read into this, I'm gonna give some context so this makes more sense. There's something called biblically accurate angels. I could pull up a picture for you. They're really freaky. I'll try to find the most tamest one. They're described in a lot of different ways. Having a humanoid form, having six wings. Here's another way they're described. And a lot of them, they overlap anyway. It's a more tame photo I can show you because I don't want to creep y'all out. But you can see it's got all these rings and eyes on it. And that's the, the essence of the being in the center. This is something from the Bible. And these are the messengers that God sends down to deliver messages and all. And the whole point is they're otherworldly. So they're supposed to look weird. In fact, they don't have a physical form. The same way like Dialga and Palkia, their origin forms, they look mutated to us because they're in the realm of gods and we're not supposed to like properly understand their appearance. You could imagine the same thing for this. So these biblically accurate angels, you witness one, it's just supposed to look otherworldly. But the eyes and the fact that they're messengers is what he's basing the post off. So now if we go back to his post, check this out. Angels are described as messengers sent by God. And what are unknown? A literal message. Yeah, if you put a couple together, it's a literal message. Biblically accurate angels are also described to have multiple eyes. So what if the forefront of a Legends Johto game expands on the story in a Legends format with an amalgamation of the unknowns creating its complete angel form? So whatever the unknown the name is a placeholder for, you'd have a complete form where all these unknowns, since they all have one eye, they'd have to wrap around each other to form a message, but they would look like a biblically accurate angel. And then maybe now that they're complete together, you can give it a true name and it's no longer called unknown, but they gotta be merged together. That is a beautiful idea. So it's not the mini unknown, it's not the A, Z, P, they're not the angels. They'd have to combine to form an angel. Maybe something like, you see how there's an essence in the middle of the photo I showed you? So even though you have all those eyes wrapping around, it's like the unknown are just the eyes and it's missing the essence. And so whatever this legend would be, it would be the essence. You got to bring a bunch of unknown to it and then you can put it back together. And that's this new legendary Pokemon. And this would be a Pokemon closely related to Arceus. It would be one of Arceus's angels. And then we wait a couple gens, they introduce a second, a third, and you get this whole lore of more creatures related to Arceus than we initially knew. So far, it's just uh, Diago, Palki, Giratina, then Mesprit, Uxie, Azelf, and then technically the whole freaking universe. But just to keep things direct, it's just those six. And then potentially the unknowns. To introduce like a new line of actual emissaries Arceus would send down would be really cool. And in fact, it's kind of, it should have been the way things are, right? The fact that Arceus himself 
pulled you from the future in Legends of Arceus, it would have made more sense. He got like in a mystery to do that. He got one of his angels to do that. But Pokemon can always chalk it up to saying it was a dire situation. Arceus himself came down and did it. But if Legend Johto can be a game not focused on directly meeting Arceus, but uncovering the remnants of temples and stuff that were worshipping him, this would be the perfect game to uncover something like a biblically accurate unknown where it's all put together. If you're not already convinced the unknown is related to angels, a superior angel is called an archangel. As in an Arceus. Hey, listen, this Arceus could just be a coincidence, but I have a feeling it might play on the lore if we get sent to the past in Johto. No, I really want this to happen. And let me tell you why. It goes back to what I was just talking about. In Japan, in the middle of the Kansai region, which is Johto, why are there Latin letters? You see, Arceus is based off a lot of creator gods and a bunch of different cultures, including Japanese. But if I try to get into Game Freak said, what if their intentions are to make Arceus completely otherworldly? <laughs> this is a name that Arceus could be based off. Arceso, okay? It means I summon, and it's in Latin. We got the unknown in Latin. Now, I know, it's pronounced Arceus in Japanese. That's why I was making the joke earlier. Arceso, you could think of Arceus as the Ark, like the biblical Ark that saved everyone. Maybe you could look at Arceus as, in a bigger scheme of deity business, he saved the universe, you know? He saved whatever he could. He was the Ark that transferred life from whatever it could have been before to what we have now. You know, the Ark, you got two of every animal, you save them. Maybe Arceus, what Game Freak was trying to do, is attaching it to these foreign letters on purpose. Maybe what they're trying to do is instill that the people who very first witnessed Arceus. So we have Sinnoh, which I'm saying before Sinnoh, Johto was worshipping Arceus. Maybe before Johto, the original people that maybe first witnessed Arceus and all that came from the western lands to Johto. And that's why the unknown are all in the Latin slash English alphabet. Latin letters, Arceso meaning I summon in Latin, some Bible references. And so we connect this back to unknown Game Freak. I would very much like you to make that legendary unknown form. Biblically accurate angel, it's set up for you. You cannot do the hand thing, which gives a more Japanese vibe to me. Like freaking Exodia and crap. <laughs> Just unknown arms, right? Or you go this route and you make a freaky looking unknown legendary pokemon game freak we are cooking the ideas for you just take them you see for a game freak based in japan who's always surrounded by all the japanese gods and myths perhaps the most interesting thing to them to do with arceus is to base it off other gods instead of it being a japanese based one that gives a more otherworldly and divine feel to them because it feels even more foreign and yeah, your email has caused me to go on a run. We are out of time. Make sure to shank that like button. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think Arceus could actually be a non-Japanese based Pokemon that people first found nowhere in Japan and just the people who witnessed it came to Japan and they wrote about it in the ruins of Elf? This would be history from like over 1,500 years ago which actually lines up pretty well with the Bible days. Oh, shoot. Because the Runes of Elf was made uh, 1,500 years ago. Anyhow, my dudes, we've got five weeks until Pokemon Day. Let's see what happens. The emails here if you want to send me emails, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.